it's done grungier. We're here in Vienna, Austria, with the wind whipping from the Alps, and with no one, well, almost no one, not a soul, on the streets. It's forbidding weather, but we're here to meet one of the world's, no, I'd say the world's leading exponent of emotional marketing. A man, some say a swami, a guru of the art of emotional influencing, who has swung elections for conservatives throughout the Western world and indeed the third world as well. Here we are with the wind whipping around us, waiting patiently for this Svengali figure in right-wing politics to come and speak to us. He's not here at the moment. It's just us. Hello, everybody. Oh, Dr. Nick Splitz and Buckenwaren. Thank you for speaking to us. Ah, oh, well, I was just lazing around the pool, so what are you going to do about it? Well, it's bitterly cold out here, so I won't beat around the bush. Ah, oh, beating around the bushes. That's a kind of a national pastime around here in Vienna. But are you helping yourself, is you big Australasian? I will. You've been called the guru of emotional marketing. Four Corners has linked you to the Trump campaign and the re-election bid of conservative Australian Prime Minister Scott Skirmo Morrison. Oh, Skirmo, I tell you what, sorry I thought about him, eh? Can you confirm you are advising these conservative leaders. Ah, oh, yeah, Dr. Nikki Splitzenberg and Buckenberg is helping out. All of these leaders are helping me out, but that don't mean that I is a, a conservative person at all. I like to wear my dresses one leg at a time, no matter what the people that say about I me. I see. So tell me, it's very cold out here with the wind whistling yeah, around. Yeah, you said that. Yeah, it's funny. Why do you keep talking about the wind? You're like, you're like a fascinated with the wind or something. Wind's whipping around here. So tell me, how do you, for example, what would you do to influence people on, say, a hot topic issue like, I don't know, refugees? Ah, the refugees. <laughs> they come over the border like a, a creeper in try to jump over my, uh, my, my, my fence here and jump in the pool. I just, what I do is I, I just try to kind of come up with all that stuff and then I just, uh, I put it out there with the people and the people that read it, they go, ooh, that's not so good. And uh, then I then, and then I just, because what gets it to a point, there's a R point. There's an R point. I, how do you mean by an R point? Oh, well, that's a very good question there, Stunny. What happens is, People go, oh, they start to read all the things, they go, ah, and then they go read a bit more, they go, ooh, and then they read a little bit more, they go, ah, I just got to get them to the ah point, they go, ah, you know what I mean, you just got to get them to the ah point. I see. So, for example, uh, let me give you another topic just off the top of my head, uh, climate change. How would you get people to that R point? Well, it just it really depends on what, what are you talking about, R point. But I say, okie dokie. You want to get a people to uh, get to R? What you do is, you, you, uh, I told Scott, you say they kind of pull it like the caravan with the electric vehicles, and people go, ah! And that didn't quite work out so much. There wasn't so much R. So I said, hey, you, what you got to do is you got to go, hey, Scotty, don't worry what happened at Angadina at McDonald's. No one cares about that anymore. That's all right. What you got to do is you go, holy moly, moly, moly. Down on the weekend, and you go, oh, Bill Sean is going to get rid of the weekend. And people go, ah. You know what I'm saying? I, so you just don't understand, did you understand where I'm coming from with you? So basically what you're saying is you're trying to get to the R point. You don't seem to have taken it on board. What do you think, Stunt? Come well, on. I think it's, you need to get them to, oh, <laughs> not hearing it. I'm not a feeling it, Stunt. 
What are you talking? Ah! That's uh, what I'm uh, talking about. All right, I'll see you later. It's very, very warm out here. I need to go and have a bit of a cold shower.